Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one and only, chose Yunus from amongst his people to be a prophet. Prophet Yunus's people prayed to make believe gods. They made from stone. P uh, prophet Yunus's job was to teach his people about the oneness of Allah. Prophet Yunus tried to explain there is only one God. He warned his townspeople of Allah's punishment if they didn't follow his rules. Our fathers and grandfathers have prayed to these gods for many years and no harm has come unto them. Prophet Yunus's people argued. Prophet Yunus tried to explain and warn his people, but they never listened. I am leaving, Prophet Yunus finally said. He left his town feeling angry with his people for not listening to him. Prophet Yunus knew Allah would punish them soon for not worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. After Prophet Yunus left town, they, the sky turned red. The clouds looked like they were on fire. The Prophet Yunus's people became super scared. They remembered Prophet Yunus's warning about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's punishment if they didn't believe in him. Yeah? This is a real story. <laughs> Prophet Yunus's people gathered on the mountain and they all said sorry to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They all sought Doba. They prayed to Allah alone and they ho hoped Prophet Yunus would come back and guide them again. Allah listened to the people's prayers. He quickly removed his anger and the sky turned blue again. Wow, thank you, Allah, they cheered happily. Allah forgave them, Prophet Yunus's people, and gave them another chance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so kind. Prophet Yunus had already left the city. He had no idea that his fellow townspeople asked Allah for forgiveness. Prophet Yunus was on a ship with other people sailing far away in the calm sea. You think so? Let's find out. When nighttime came, the sea suddenly changed. A horrible storm started, uh, and the ship's captain got super worried. He feared the ship might sink because it carried a super duper heavy load. Throw your bags in the sea, the captain yelled. We need to take, them off, take off some of that heavy load. <laughs> yes? I think there were only people, but only Allah knows. It doesn't say that in the story. The waves? Huh? The waves, the waves were harsh, yes. And they were scared this boat would sink. So because it was too heavy, they said we have to start throwing out heavy stuff into the sea to make the boat lighter so that it could stay on top of the waves instead of sinking. So they start throwing out all of their bags first. Let's see what they throw out next. The passengers did as they were told, but the ship still stayed super heavy. The captain decided that one of the passengers would need to jump into the sea to make the weight of the ship lighter. It was the only way to save the rest of the passengers. That seems like a scary thing to do, to have to jump into the sea. Let's see. The captain of the ship made a set of straws with all the passengers' names. He closed his eyes and he picked one of the straws to see who will have to jump in the sea to save all the others. The straw he picked had Prophet Eunice's name on it. <laughs> oh, ya Allah, oh my God, sorry. Oh my God, Prophet Yunus is the best man here. 
One of the passengers cried out, please don't let him jump into the sea. The captain agreed. He closed his eyes and he tried again. But the straw he picked was the same one. It was Prophet Eunice's name again. Oh Allah, no way, the passengers yelled. The captain decided to give it one last try. So this is now the third time he's trying. He closed his eyes and he picked again. To his surprise, the straw he picked was still the same one. It had Prophet Eunice's name on it. Oh my goodness. Prophet Eunice realized that it was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's will. Perhaps that was his punishment for being angry with his people and leaving instead of being patient. Eunice stood at the edge of the ship and he jumped into the deep sea. At that moment, Allah SWT chose a huge whale and ordered it to swallow Prophet Yunus whole. Prophet Yunus was trapped alone in three different kinds of darkness. First, the darkness of the night. Next, the darkness at the bottom of the sea. And then, in the darkness inside the whale's tummy. So dark. A darkness we can't even imagine. Even though Prophet Yunus was in the belly of a whale, he never stopped praying to Allah. He felt bad for being angry with his people and leaving without Allah's permission. He kept saying the same prayers over and over again. There is no God but you, O Almighty Allah. I know I did something wrong. This is based on Surah Al-Anbiya. It's not an exact translation. <laughs> Allah listened to Prophet Yunus's prayers and saved him. Allah ordered the chosen whale to surface up to the shore and let Prophet Yunus out on dry land. It's so dark, all you see is eyeballs. <laughs> it's closed the dark eyeballs. Yes. Prophet Yunus was feeling very ill when he came out. The sun was too hot and the land was too dry. Ouch! Can you say that a little bit louder? Yes. Yes. So the book, it says Jonah, because that's how you can say his name in English. But I like to say it the way that most of us are familiar with, which is Eunice. But you can say Jonah or Eunice. It's the same name. Yeah. Prophet Eunice never stopped praying to Allah. So Allah, uh, Almighty Allah SWT ordered a oh. gourd vine to oh. grow over him. The leaves grew so big that they made a nice shade and protected his body from the sun. So imagine he was in the dark for so long that when he came out and he felt the sun, it was hot and burning his skin. So, yes, so Allah SWT caused the plant to grow and protect him in its shade. Prophet Yunus السلام, felt a lot better and thanked Allah for his mercy. He decided to go back to his people and this time he promised to be more patient. What do you think he'll find when he goes back? Yes, his people were super happy to see him. He went back to guiding and teaching them all about Allah, the greatest. The whole town prayed to Allah alone and became a good and kind people. Sounds like when they sought forgiveness from Allah, they meant it. What does that mean that they had if they really meant it? What was the second step of Toba? They felt remorse. Good. The end. <laughs>